hello everyone good evening so today i am talking about what is the termination part of replication what is the termination part of replication So in this video, I will focus, in this video I will focus the termination part of replication in prokaryotes, mainly in prokaryotes. Prokaryotic cell. So firstly, in prokaryotes, the replication is mainly circular, like like that it is one stand and it is another stand so <coughs> in this video i am talking about the circular replication termination part and where everybody know the termination part is the end part of our replication because the part, first part is initiation second part is elongation and the third part is termination in this video, I am talking about the termination of replication in prokaryotes, mainly circular replication in this video. So firstly, in every circular replication, in initiation part, two types of fork are developed, two types of fork are developed. It is fork 1 and it is fork 2. DNA B protein just come and for the mechanism it is breaking the hydrogen bond and forming two type of fork. And why it is called fork? So, I am explain. It is like like that sorry let me draw freshly it's like that so it is called fork because it's look like a frog so from here the fork word is come so we are called here one fork and it is another fork when two types of fork replicated and come to each other and face each other and here for facing of each other termination is happened termination is happened so here position when the two fork are face each other the termination is stopped but the process is not very easy in this process require some types of requirement also one is tar sequence and next requirement is TAS TAS protein so I am talking in briefly mainly TAR sequence mainly TAR sequence in circular DNA present in many position this is base pair between two stands here one tar sequence present here another tar sequence present here another tar sequence present here another tar sequence present so like this like that 
in anywhere in circular DNA. Tar sequence is present and TAS is a protein. It looks like mainly like this. It is called TAS protein. And TAR sequence which is present in circular DNA, it's create a signal which bring about the TAS protein. So next I am explaining briefly uh, and focus the process. It is one stand. It is another stand and DNA B protein just come here firstly and break the hydrogen bond and form two type of fork. Suppose it is fork 1 and it is fork 2 and near many it this is the base pair between two stands and hair to hair suppose present tar sequence 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 this tar sequence create a signal which bring about the tas protein so tas protein just come and bind with the tar sequence like that like that and replication fork come in this direction and replication fork 1 come this direction and replication fork 2 come this direction this tus protein have two end this tus protein have two end it is one side and it is one side <coughs> sorry not in it's two side the tas protein have two sides it is one side and it is another side these sides is called non non permissive end and this side is called permissive end so here this side is called permissive end and this side is non permissive end. Similarly, it is permissive, it is non permissive, it is permissive, it is non permissive. Similarly, it is permissive, it is non permissive. One line is very important. So listen very careful. When the replication fork face this permissive end, when the replication fork when the replication fork face this permissive event then this task protein simply remove from here <coughs> this task protein simply remove from here and the replication fork goes on go on but when the replication fork face the non permissive event when the replication fork is face non permissive event then the replication fork cannot remove this tas protein this is because here the replication fork is stopped okay in this way replication termination is stopped 
so i am explain so i am explain it so here replication for 2 is come here and simply face the no permissive event simply face the permissive event and this touch protein remove and this fork is go on and face another touch protein of permissive event and it is also removed and goes on and it is face another touch protein which is permissive event so it is also removed and it is go on and here the another fork is come in the this direction but in replication fork one face the non permissive event which is responsible for a stop of the replication fork so replication fork is stopped here replication fork one is stopped here but replication fork two go on and face this task protein non permissive event so this task protein simply removed and face then replication fork two face the replication fork one so it is stopped here and here some nicks are present and further it is joined by ligase but main question is how the replication fork stopped in why the replication fork is stopped in non permissive event why the replication fork stopped in non permissive event so me explain it <coughs> it is touch sequence and it is touch protein and it is also base pair and near the non permissive event of touch protein 2 to 3 base pair just flip 2 to 3 base pair just flip just 2 to 3 base pair just flip and which stand in touch protein bind in a one stand and where the touch protein is bind this stand 2 to 3 base pair just flip but the another stand 2 to 3 base pair is remain same position and actually the base pair is same normally here the fork fork 1 is come fork 1 is come and here fork 2 is come <coughs> firstly fork 1 is come and in initiation part where see dna b protein firstly break the hydrogen bond then fork 1 come and further it is replicated when the dna b protein DNA B protein face the flipping of the base pair. Then DNA B protein cannot be overtake this flipping of the base pair. So the DNA B protein stopped here. Cannot be overtake because the base pair is flip. A DNA B protein cannot be break this flipping of the base pair. So DNA B protein is stopped. So further <coughs> Fork is also stopped because the hydrogen bond breaking is stopped. So the fork one is stopped, then replication is stopped here. But the replication fork two is come and face the permissive event. Here the base pair is not flipping. So it is also here also a B protein is come and it is just remove this touch protein and it is face the another fork, it is called face fork 1 so fork 2 and fork 1 then face to each other and the replication is stopped here and here some nicking <coughs> nicking are happened which is further joined by ligase in this way in prokaryote circular replication is happened so i hope it is helpful for you thank you everyone please hit the like button and thank you